puffle <laughs> puffle huffs. <laughs> It's Nikki here. I'm here today to do a Harry Potter book tag. I'm pairing this video with my Goblet of Fire reviews and as such, and as you can tell based on the yellow I'm wearing, I'm going to be doing a Hufflepuff book tag. Uh, it is in honor of Cedric Diggory's character. The first prompt is Harry Potter, just which of the books is your favorite? And my personal favorite is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. There's something about it that I just love. Hufflepuffs are known for their undying loyalty. For this prompt, pick an Insta buy author. My Insta buy author is Jane Austen. Um, I've read most of her books, but I'm, but I bought all of them in a rush when I was a lot younger. But now I'm in the period of I want to get nicer volumes of what she has, and as soon as I see the volume I want, I pick it up. <laughs> prompt three is trustworthy. Hufflepuffs are known for their trustworthy nature. As such, pick a book series where none of the books let you down. And I actually picked The Hunger Games for this one. I know a lot of people really didn't like the last one, but I loved it. And even though the middle book wasn't like my absolute favorite, none of them were bad and I enjoyed reading all of them. Hufflepuffs are known for their very caring natures. With this in mind, uh, name a character from a book or series who holds a very special place in your heart. Uh, for me, this would be Junie B. Jones from her kindergarten series. I learned to read on this series and I have really fond memories of laughing and reading with my parents and my sister when I was really little. And as such, this character holds a very special place in my heart. Hufflepuffs always strive to be kind towards others, no matter who they are. Name a book series that you love despite its flaws. Uh, for me, I would say the Ender's Game series. Um, although the series itself isn't as contentious, I know the author has been in recent years, and I really, it's one of my favorite series to read. I can't put it down, even though there's just that kind of the uh, contention with the author. Patience. Hufflepuffs are known to be very patient people, and this comes especially handy when it comes to with a slow-paced book. Uh, pick a book that was very slow-paced, but you stuck it out to the end. Uh, for me, this is a very recent read. This would be The Seven Viking Romances. Uh, it was a collection of short stories that used to be like oral stories from Viking days. Uh, they were all very interesting, but they were incredibly slow-paced, and I think a lot of that had to do with the fact they were translated to English. And with that, um, that's all of the prompts I have here for the Hufflepuff book tag. If anybody is a Hufflepuff who's interested in doing this, by all means, um, even if you're not Hufflepuff, by all means give it a shot. That's what I did. I am not Hufflepuff, but I thought it would be good to pair with the book where Cedric Diggory died. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!